Howdy. Howdy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Roman Papaduk, and I'm the executive director of the George Bush Presidential Library Foundation. On behalf of President and Mrs. Bush, welcome to tonight's panel discussion of George Bush, the sports and outdoors president. Uh, we will shortly introduce our panelists formally, but I want to say you're in for a special treat tonight, a treat of fish tales, pre uh, videos, and a lot of presentations. Uh, we do have two special guests with us. One is a group. I'd like to welcome formally our community uh, members of the Boy Scouts. They're here in large groups, so I appreciate them attending tonight. Also, we have a little Western flavor tonight. We have Miss Kelly Jackson, Miss Rodeo America, right here. As I mentioned to you, there will be a lot of fish tales and other presentations. Our panelists will lead a discussion, present some videos. They'll also have a Q&A session. So those of you who would like to address questions to the panelists may do so by using the microphones that are pre-positioned in the uh, aisles uh, toward the front of the auditorium. I would also like to say that at the end of our uh, program tonight, there will be a reception in the rotunda to which all of you are invited. In addition, you're welcome at the time of uh, partaking in the reception to view the new exhibit, the Sports and Outdoors President. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to call upon the Sports and Outdoors President, ladies and gentlemen, President George Bush. Thank you all very much. Lest you wonder, that's our grandson, Jeb Bush. Soon to be married, Jeb Bush. Please be seated. Well, it's a pleasure, great pleasure to be here with so many friends today. Uh, we've had some good times together in the golf links, to baseball, and yes, fishing, as tonight's show showcases. Uh, I want to thank particularly Bob Rich and Mindy, his wife, who's with us here, an old friend, dear fishing partner, for his initiative in putting the activities for tonight together. Uh, Mindy and Bob are both avid fishermen. Uh, we're not going to give them a chance to talk about all the things they've won, but uh, believe me, they're good. He's also, Bob's also an accomplished author, businessman, owner of minor league baseball. Bob has kindly agreed to chair tonight's panel. His expertise and skill in fishing is only matched by the others joining him on the panel. Andy Mill is also a close friend. He's made a seamless transition from Olympic champion, uh, Olympic skier, to world-class champion tarpon fisherman. He's won a record 11 tarpon tournaments. Uh, I've always enjoyed my fishing outings with Andy, and I've learned an awful lot from this skilled fisherman, but he's a close, dear friend. Paul Dixon represents the Anglers Club of New York. He's an accomplished fly fisherman, and uh, he's been featured on numerous sporting shows in various publications. Johnny Morris uh, lives his dream every day as the founder of the Bass Pro Shops. Uh, not advertising for him, but if you haven't been to one, go. Uh, he's also an ardent conservationist, been awarded a number of awards. His love of fishing has made him a leading sportsman in the field and has been a great companion on our many fishing trips, and he's a great friend of the entire Bush family. I'm delighted that they all can be here tonight. I greatly appreciate all the effort and time they put in organizing tonight. Especially pleased that Jeb here, our grandson, uh, he's been a fishing companion. He's quickly become an expert in his own right. He can really throw a fly a mile. I've seen him do it. Uh, one of my favorite recollections of this guy uh, is chasing a big Atlantic char down the Tree River, I think it was, the rushing Tree River. Uh, he just did not want to let that big one get away, and he was skipping from rock to rock, slippery rock to rock. He held his held line tight and uh, managed to get the fish in. We have it posted in our garage up in Kennebunkport, Maine. Uh, I've always found fishing enjoyable and relaxing. I love the challenge of hooking and landing a fish, 
and of sharing the experience with family and friends. Although my active days in the rivers are over for obvious reasons, uh, I vividly remember every stream, every sea in which I fished from the Northwest Territories, way up in the Northwest Territories, all the way down to Tierra del Fuego at the end of this continent. And uh, many spots in between. I'm leaving out before I've done the most fishing. There's something so special about the peaceful solitude that open seas and wild rivers provide. And I'm so glad that we can share some of these experiences and trips that many in this audience and I have experienced. I'm sure we'll hear many fish tales tonight. I only ask that our panelists keep the tales within the believable boundaries. Uh, we, we do have to uh, abide by the Aggie Code of Honor. And as, as long as you mention that I caught or lost the biggest fish, then I think we'll be okay. Now, before we begin, how many of you ever caught a chipmunk on a fly rod? <laughs> Not one single soul. Well, I used a light, light bamboo rod, very light, a House of Hardy reel, and threw it over at this chipmunk and uh, missed him, stripped it on in. So the damn thing stayed there. Stripped it, threw it again, hooked him, brought him in, and a very accommodating Secret Service guy took him off the hook. I have witnesses, and it's true. <laughs> so we're starting. That's the fish story to start with. So welcome to all of you, and again, my profound thanks to the panelists, to all of you, and particularly to Bob and Mindy Rich, who've done this all for us. Thank you so much. Bring on the bring on the boys here. I'll get out of your way. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. This is Bob Rich. Thank you. How are you? Not it. Andy. Andy. Andy Mipo. Good to see Chris. you. Johnny Morris. Chris. All right, here we go. Series. <laughs> Howdy, eggs. Howdy. <laughs> Mr. President, Mrs. Bush, thank you very much for inviting us. I've got good news and some bad news for you today. What do you want first, the good news or the bad news? All right. The lecture's canceled. Sorry, because we're going fishing together. We're going on a fishing trip. Ready? Well, here's how it starts. You're sitting at home at your desk, in your room, whatever. You get that certain itch. You're doing what you're doing. You're working way too hard. You bring out that fam favorite magazine of yours, adver <laughs> advertisement. And you pick a spot and you say, oh, I've got to go there. And you pick your spot. Now, it may be a place you've been before that's as comfortable as an old pair of shoes. Or it may be a place you've never been before. And that's called new water. And that's exciting, too. But you pick your spot out. Well, what do you have to do next? you got to pick some of your pals who you want to go fishing with. So what's your criteria? You clearly want people with a good sense of humor. You want people who are optimistic, who won't drag you down. You want people who love solitude a little once in a while and give you your own space when you want to have your own space. And I think among this audience, gents, I think we got some of those people we want to invite on that trip. How about you, sir? You're in? Very good. One here. How about you, sir? You're in. Young man? OK. Madam, you're in. Why are you laughing? Let me explain to you. This is equal opportunity. Fishing has changed. It's men and women now. In fact, experts in our industry will tell you that the growth is coming from the women in fishing. That's right. That's right. OK, how about you, madam? You've never fished before? Doesn't matter. You're invited to come along. You, young man over here, you're in. What? 